welcome back guys to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to configure telephone service or IP phones or voice over IP service on Cisco packet tracer so basically what we'll need here is a router a switch and uh, at least three IP phones okay and guys before we may start I really plead with you if you're not if you have not subscribed to our channel or even this is your first time on our channel do us that favor click on the subscribe button like our video and let's know what I'm thinking on the comment section okay so without any further ado let's begin I need a router which is I'll take the 20 28 11 router this one take this one and I place there 28 11 router then come to switches take 29 60 route switch I mean and uh, come to IP phones I will need uh, let's say four of them okay then I'll do I'll connect them very very fast so I'll take this one automatic I connect router to switch then uh, switch to the phones I'll do it very very fast okay so as you can see guys the IP phones are shut down and they have no there are no sub power supply so what I'll do I'll just click on the phones and I'll, I include this here okay close this one also this one you drag phone a power adapter place on the port close and this one you drag this one and place there and you close and finally this one you drag and place here and close all right so guys we need to highlight the steps that we need that we are going to use to configure telephone service on this network we need this phone to communicate with either of these phones and any of these phones to communicate with all of these phones okay all right so guys basically our configuration will begin on the router what we need to do is to configure DHCP server so that these devices can be allocated IP addresses dynamically all right the first configuration that we'll do is to configure this interface of the router this one 12 and IP addresses because you know we need these devices, all of these, to use this interface as the default gateway, okay? So let me do that. I'll assign IP address to this interface of the router and turn it up. So I'll click on the router and say enable, config T, and say interface. Let me check the interface. See that? It's gig 00, okay? Not gig 00, but FA just a fa00 okay interface fa0 0 ip address to be let's say 192.168.1.1 mask of 255.255.255.0 then no shutdown as you can see it's red but uh, meaning it's in shutdown we need it to be up so let's say no shut and hit enter exit and do right okay okay so guys the first configuration is done which was to configure IP address to this interface all right this one of the router now the second configuration that we'll go that we are gonna do here is to configure DHCP server remember we need to use we need to use this router as the DHCP server for these devices such that these devices can obtain IP addresses automatically from this route. So let's do that very fast. How do we configure DCP server? First of all, we need to enable that service service DCP. Okay. Then IP DCP pool. We create pool, and let's call that pool voice voice pool because this is we need to configure. VOIP okay then network one and two 
0.168.1.0.255.255.255.0 okay then default the folder that should be the IP address of the first interface this one okay that is connected to the local area network 102.168.1.1 okay then guys you know here we are configuring telephone service and for a telephone service there is an inclusive configuration that is called option 150 IP this one I'm going to explain that one let me just copy that and I paste so you know what when IP phone starts you know it lacks IP address so it uses DCP option 150 to send DCP request to a TF TFTP server okay which is will be our DCP server here default gateway I mean here okay all right so I hit enter okay so exit and do right so the first command when configuring pool you click the pool name then the network and the default gateway then option 150 tells the router to enable TFTP server using this interface IP address of, the, of this interface I mean the interface IP address of this one okay all right so the third co the third configuration that we are going to involve so I'll just highlight them here the first one was to configure interface IP address then the second one to configure DCP server server and now the third one one is to configure call manager express telephone service on this router to enable voice over IP on this network so the third one is call manager telephony service okay all right so let's do that very very fast all right so we are going to configure call manager express telephony service on this router to enable voice over IP on this network let's do that very fast the first command enable that service telephony telephone service and you hit enter so guys now we are going to specify the maximum number of directories just say max dn let's say five it will define the maximum number of directories used here hit enter then let's define the maximum number of phones ip phone that we need to use in this network let's say uh -huh, max e phones let's say also five but uh you know you see i am using four but no no problem i'll let's just use five and hit enter and now ip source we now include the ip address of the of the router which is acting as the default gateway okay and i paste there then source sorry sorry port 2000 okay the first com the first command to configure call manager express telephone service you need to enable that service first then you specify the number of maximum number of directories then the, the maximum number of IP phones you have in the network that you can have in a network then you give IP source plus the port number okay I'm using this one because uh, when I was uh, researching about it I, I could see most of the sources using this one so on the port number you can research about it more all right so let's proceed so the next configuration that we need to involve here guys is to automatically assign extension numbers to the buttons 
so just say auto auto assign let's say one two five okay another one let's say four to six okay guys these two commands will automatically assign extension numbers to the buttons right okay so what to do you exit okay so our configuration on the on the router is done so let's go to the switch so that we can configure voice vlan on the switch so this was on the routers i'll just say one two and three so let's go to the switch so that we can configure some parameters there okay so guys we're going to configure all of these interfaces to access a voice vlan okay so i'm just going to access them fa0 slash one two fa0 slash five okay to, to the switch enable config t interface fa0 slash one two five interface range sorry switch port mod access then switch port access voice voice sorry 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 vlan sorry 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 just a minute switch port voice okay vlan one okay so the first command that you need to involve on the switch is to configure is to enter the range which is a phase range, uh, one to five then you make them switch port mode access so make them access more then you configure this switch port voice vlan one okay all right and you hit enter you exit now you're just done and you do right okay okay so switch was to configure interface to voice vlan one okay all of these interfaces right okay so guys let's go back to this router so that we can assign these ip phones numbers okay so we go back to the router again i'll copy this allocate numbers to ip forms okay so i'll go to this router don't worry about this don't worry about this we were to configure i mean we were to assign these phones numbers so let's start e phone just say e phone dn one okay number assign it a number let's say 54001 okay exit then E phone directory two assign the number that one exit then e phone sorry 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 e phone directory three assign the number that one then e phone directory four assign the number that okay exit and do right okay so guys we're done with the configuration okay so i'll just over over these phones to check if they have uh, been assigned the numbers 
Okay, as you can see, that one means it has taken IP address of dot one one fourteen, and the number is line number is five four zero zero three, and this one is uh, five four zero zero four, and this one is line number five four zero zero two, and this one is uh, five four zero zero one. So I'm going to try to call this this phone here. Remember, it's uh, five four. 003 from this one so let's 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 open this one also then you come to GUI sorry I open this one also so I try to place them on one just a minute okay so come to GUI and call 54 zero zero four and call can you see it's it's ringing out okay so where is five four zero zero four i called the wrong one so let me just go to five four zero zero four five four zero zero four this one come to gu high can you see it's it's ringing just a minute See, it's ringing. Then I pick it up. Can you see? It's connected here. It's connected here. Okay. So let's call this one, which is five four zero zero one five four zero zero one. Then I call. Sorry. I'll repeat again. Five four zero zero one. Can you see? This one is ringing okay then I can pick up it's connected can you see all right so I'll just hang up and try to call five four zero zero two call it's ringing out as you can see it's ringing out okay so I can go here and check five four zero zero two which is this one come to good can you see it's connected all right so guys basically it's very very simple the first the first the first configuration that you need to do is on the router assign ip address to the router and interface that is connected to your lan then configure the cp server not forgetting the option 150 configuration then configure call manage express telephone service on router one to enable voice of ip on the network then come to the switch and configure all these interfaces to voice VLAN 1, okay? Then finally come to the router and allocate the phone numbers to these IP phones. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching our video today. I believe it has helped you know how to configure IP phones. So suppose you like our video, kindly subscribe to our channel. Let's know what I'm thinking in the comment section. Thank you so much and let's see you again in the next class. Bye.